This book of Luke, chapter 19, and verse 12 through 13. He said, Therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rechakwadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing this truth in sincerity. Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rechakwadash, Baraka Thum, to use a quantum, Waki Makwaf, you know, your elders, your brothers, your sisters, the whole full elect out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, giving diligence to make your calling and election sure. And of course, keeping faith in Heavenly Father, Yahweh and His beloved Son, our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, in these last days, in these perilous times that we're living in. This brother Shai, Ba'an Yahshua, let's be a quick lesson through the spirit of Pavi HaBashim Shai on how we must occupy till the Lord Yahweh Shai returns so we can receive the promises, okay? The kingdom, everlasting life, honor, glory, praise, fame, okay? Being joint heirs on Mashiach Yahweh Shai, getting delivered in these last days, man, from all the hell that's about to come upon this planet Earth, especially here in America, Babylon the Great, okay? Getting fed during the famine, all right? Getting protected, delivered by way of angels, spiritual powers, all these things, man, all right? Now, if you want to get those things, you have to do the work, all right? You have to occupy. Whatever your talent may be, use your talent, man. Don't hide it under, under a napkin, all right? You have to occupy until Lord Yahweh Shai returns. All right. <clears throat> so, I was, what inspired this lesson through his spirit? I was watching the brother Shaku Dan video lesson he did, you know, a while back going to this topic. You know, we have to cast off all slothfulness and negligence. All right. You cannot be lazy in this thing. All right, brother. That's what the brothers out there pushing week in, week out, doing video lessons. We cannot be lazy, man. You know, like Apostle Ramla would say, you know, when the strike while the iron is hot. All right. Why you could why, right when the angel, because remember, the angels give us thoughts, man. Righteous and wicked thoughts. You know, you got the right, righteous angels and wicked angels, right? So when the right hand angels give us a righteous thought through a video, don't don't just, you know, cast it off, man. All right. Get to it. If you have the time, get to it, man. Write it down. Get the precepts ready. You know what I'm saying? If you do your videos with the background, get the background ready, whatever the case, man. You want to just do it, record yourself, get to it. Strike while the iron is hot. All right, so we have to occupy, meaning what? Do this work. We have to plow. There's no looking back, man. All right, and we're in the time now. We're getting closer and closer to the end of this man's society, this man's kingdom, Esau Edom. Right, that these left hand spirits are going to turn up the same way the Lord, because the Heavenly Father is a just balance, man. We know that according to the scriptures. You see, and it's a year of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah turning up, and it's almost over this year. All right, so we know coming to the end of this year, you know, things are going to get turned up even more. So. The Lord turned up his prophets. You know, he turned us up, starting with the elders and apostles on down. All right. And he turned up the angels, the right hand angels and left hand angels. So they're going to be attacking more and more. All right. Trying our faith. All right. See if you truly believe. If you truly believe in how Bashmael Shai, nothing can shake your faith, man. Nothing. No matter what you go through, no matter, no matter what hell you catch, you'll always do this work, man. All right. You still go out there week in and week out, no matter what. All right. No matter how much hell you're catching from your job. Your household, it could be your family, it could be your woman, your children, it don't even matter what it is, man. All right, you're still going to occupy till your house shall return. All right, <clears throat> now for brothers, you know, you know, because some of us battle it, sometimes you just be lazy. You got to rebuke that lazy spirit, man. I'm going to get a precept very quick. Right, let's get Proverbs chapter 6. All right, the sixth chapter. And we're going to start at verse, um, I believe the point of one is verse 6. <clears throat> yeah, let's get you to the point. It says, Go to the end. Thou sluggard, consider her ways and be wise. All right. Now we know ants <clears throat> work really hard, man. <laughs> you know, if you look up, you look at, if you just watch and study the ant, they're lifting things. That's um, let me look that up, man. You know, they lifting things that's way heavier than them. They always working. I'm gonna type in the ants' work ethic. All right. <clears throat> Let's see, uh, no, not any's. I, I spelled that wrong. Salaki Aki. Bear with me. All right, let's see what pops up. It says, it says, good work ethic. Ants make use of every moment they have, that they have. 
And in verse 7, it says, Having no overseer or ruler, they provide meat for the summer and gather food for the harvest. The ant works and works hard when no one telling them to do so. And let's get a precept on that, man. <laughs> you better let you know where I'm going. Right? Let's get this. Um, Luke 17 and 10, it says, No, let's start at verse 9. All right? Let's start at verse 9. This whole chapter is good. This service nine it says, "Do he think that servant because he did the things that were commanded him? I trow not. So likewise ye, when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded you, say we are unprofitable servants. We have done we have done that which was our duty to do, man. All right. So you shouldn't have no one over your back telling you to do videos, telling you to go out there to push his word, man. You shouldn't have one of the elders or brothers, you know, head of the camp telling you, brother." Why you not? You got to come to camp, brother. Come on, you know, because you're supposed to be going automatically, man. You know what I'm saying? You should have a brother telling you, brother, you got to do, you know, your videos, man. You haven't done videos in weeks and months. What's going on with you? You shouldn't do that. You, Because what does the ant do? The ant works and works hard when no one telling them to do so, man. So we got to work, man. Hard, man. We shouldn't have no one telling us to do the work of y'all by Shemal Shai. What if, I think it's Apostle Peter that said this, man. Um... Let me see. <clears throat> Where you at? Bear with me, Aki, my finest precept. Is this, is this what I want? Right here. Yeah. First Peter 5 and 2. It says, feed the flock. Come on, man. Feed the flock of the, what's it, the sheep. All right. Man, you got to occupy, do this work, you know, give diligence. Feed the lambs of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai says, Feed the flock of the Mosai, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly. Not for filthy lucre, but for but of a ready mind. Alright? So we have to do this work, man. Feed the flock. Let's read on. It says, Neither as being lords over the Mosai's heritage, but being examples to the flock. Alright? So we gotta be examples of the flock, not being lords or the Mo not being lords over the Most High's heritage, not being just because you you know you got a certain position or rank, you know you're just talking to brothers however you want to talk to them, or just being lords, commanding them to do things. <laughs> Your brother, go wash my socks, man. All right, <laughs> like that's going off, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Certain things you just should know. You should have brotherly love, man. Like a lord, Yahweh Shah said, he that has greater, let him be the servant, man. All right, so that's how we treat one another. But when it comes to doing his work, occupying to our low returns, you gotta do it willingly, man, not for constraint. And we, and the truth be told, ultimately, yes, we are constrained to do this. We are programmed to do this, man. All right, but the Lord put in our spirits that we want to do this. You know, we wake up thinking about this. You know, what's the video I could do so I could feed the lambs? You know, you know, let's pray. Let's, you know, let's. We want to fast. We want to pray. We want to read. We want to study. All right. It's so a lot of things. That's all the spirit. All right. That's all the spirit, man. But, you know, you got the flesh. that want to do the things of the flesh. It's a constant battle. Right. But brothers occupy so we can receive those promises. It might, I'm going to read one of the promises right here. Verse four. And when the chief shepherd, who's that chief shepherd? Yahweh Shai shall appear. You shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. So don't forget what you're fighting for, what you're working for. So like the ant, they work, they work, they work. They just keep working, man. And it said um, they was working to provide meat for the summer and gather food for the harvest. All right. And we know the harvest is the end. You see, and we know the the, 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 the right fruits that's going to get delivered by there is the elect. Then everything else, all the bad is left for the reapers, man. When the angels, the death angels, destruction, death, you know, calamities, people, you know, the fire, you know. Only the elect gonna make it. You see that? Only the elect will make it out of here, man. So let's get some more precepts on, you know. Uh, let me just, let me just read some. All right. So we are gonna get this because people make all type of excuses too. You know, um, why they can't teach. You know, why they can't go out there and push. Some people, some of your brothers may be scared. You know, because um, your woman may see you. You know, your family may see you. Your boss may see you. People you know in the world may see you. Who gives a fuck, man? All right? We're made a spectacle, man. 
All right, they see you, they see you. All right, see on a day to day basis, you know, we're like Clark Kent using wisdom. You know, at your job, you got to use wisdom, brothers, use wisdom. All right, but then we out there teaching you, Superman, you're Carl L, all powerful, all powers given us to tread on um, scorpions and serpents. <laughs> I said ser serpents, serpents and scorpions. All right, let's read this right quick though. It says, Proverbs 26, verse 13. The slothful man. Let me see if I want to start up some. Uh, I can show you to the point. Verse 13. The slothful man, a man that's lazy, slothful, right? Say if there's a lion in the way, a lion is in the streets. You see that? So he make all type of excuses to not get up and do anything, man. All right. It says, um, as the door turneth upon his hinges, so doth the slothful upon his bed. He just want to lay down all day. You know what I'm saying? It says, uh, the slothful hideth his hand in his bosom, it grieveth him to bring it again to his mouth. That's <laughs> dude is lazy as a motherfucker, man. It says the sluggard is wiser in his own conceit than seven men that can render a reason. You see? Now I want to read this in another translation. Let me get to the uh let me read that another translation. That was a good one. Proverbs, uh, what was that twenty four? Was that Proverbs twenty four or Proverbs? Let me see what that was. 26, Salakia. All right, that's Proverbs 26 and verse 13. Let's get that in the GMT, right? It says, um, why don't lazy people get <laughs> ever get out of the house? Why are they afraid of lions? Lazy people turn over in bed. They get no farther than the door swing on its hinges. Some people are too lazy to put food in their own mouths, man. It says a lazy person will think he is smarter than seven men. Who can give good reasons for their opinions all right so you know just going to you know don't be lazy in this thing all right don't be a slugger we have to occupy we got to go out there and push we got to do videos man as much as you can throughout the week see the elders and apostles get a decree through the spirit man a video a day all right and that's the better us man people get all bent out of sh oh, i gotta do a video oh fuck <laughs> yeah i know man scripture what you know we love the most side keeps commandments commands are not grievous man Doing his work should not be grievous to us, man. You should want to do this, man. <laughs> like I read earlier, willingly to feed the flock. If you got those thoughts, that's a demon on you, man. And you got to rebuke that demon, you know, you know, rebuke that demon, brother. If you got that on you, like, damn, I got to do a video. <sighs> All right. No, like, if you have that spirit on you, man, you got you to gotta rebuke that spirit and get in, the, and get in the, the correct spirit, man. You should wake up thinking how much because at the brothers with video lesson like I hear brothers saying even elders and apostles they say on to the next. You know, see the next video. We think we already think about the next video after we didn't just finish doing a video. You know, we finished doing a video, we don't even think that's enough. You know, that's how you gotta be in this thing, man. Because scriptures literally say you can never go far enough. Let's get that right quick. All right, and, and I'm like I'm going into remember the promises, man. What's promised? See, I'm gonna get another one too. Um I'm gonna get some more. Let's read this very quick. It says, uh, Ecclesiastes 43 and 30. When you glorify the Lord, because let's do it as well. We're glorifying Yahweh Bashim al -Shah. It says, exalt him as much as he can. As much as he can. All right. So rebuke that, um, that, that, what's that, what's that term? Bare minimum. Rebuke that bare minimum spirit, man. All right. Just because the decree says a video a day. If the spirit is only one day to do three videos, you got three of them lined up, do it, man. Rebuke that bit. Okay, I did my one video. I'll say the other two. The next day, you might not be in the spirit to do the other two, man. You see? You never know. The next day, they never promised. Get it done. <laughs> Get it up there. You know? Get it to the sheep so they can watch and read your video and watch your video epistle. Okay? It says, When you glorify the Lord, exhort him as much as you can, for even yet will he far exceed. And when he exhort him, and when ye exhort him, put forth all your strength. And be not weary, for you can never go far enough. You cannot ever do enough videos, man. All right? But you want to have the mindset of when society collapses or outbreak loose in this, in this thing, you want to have that mindset like I've done. Let's get that preset. What's that? Salak, how does it go, man? Um, I think it's well done. Let me see. There's a scripture I'm thinking about. This is good too, man. Matthew 25. Uh, let 
it's a scripture I'm thinking about, man. But I'm a, I'm a, I'm not even gonna quote it. I'm just gonna say what's on my mind right quick. Um, which I'm gonna read this parable right here too. This is a good parable. But I'm gonna say what's on my mind. You want to be able to tell the Lord, I've done everything I can for you. You know, I, I did the videos. You know, I prayed, I fast, I, I read, I studied, I endured. I caught all this hell and I endured through it all. You know, um, I went out the week in, the week out. I didn't miss a camp. You know what I'm saying? If I ever did miss a camp, you know, the reason I may have been probably... Because sometimes brothers may get real, real sick or injured. You know, that's that's different. You know what I'm saying? But, like, if you call out of camp for no reason because you're tired, you know what I'm saying? You, you off, man. That's going off. Wake the fuck up and just go. So we're going to wake up B-Town. But the point I'm making, you want to... When society collapse, you want to have that mindset like, yo, I did all I could do. You know? That's how I think it goes, but I, I may be just mixing. Let me see. I may just be mixing um, two scriptures up or just mixing um, this parable, you know, <laughs> with my thoughts. I don't know. This is. I read this in a minute. Yeah, it's good. It's all right. I'm just going to get this parable, though, right? So before I get the parable, though, it's another one I wanted to read. I'm going to these lazy people. All right. But as a matter of fact, Salakula, let's read this. It says, Proverbs 12 and 24, the hand of the diligent shall bear rule. All right. Power rulership. But the slothful shall be under tribute, man. All right. <clears throat> so do this work. All right. Do this work. I'm going to get the parable now. It's more it's more scriptures going to, um, you know, giving diligence, casting off all slothfulness. You see let me see. Uh, this is good too. Power ten and four. He becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand, but the hand of the diligent maketh rich. You see that? Come on, man. So you know these are all self-explanatory scriptures. All right. Let's read this. Let's read this one. Power thirteen and four. The slow of the slugger desireth and hath nothing. That's another thing too, man. A lot of brothers always talking about multiple wives. You know, spiritual powers. Divine intervention, all right, power rulership. If you want these things, you have to do the work, man. All right, the slugger desire. They and a lot of brothers on a keyboard. That's a lot of keyboard prophets, <laughs> keyboard warriors, man. That just sit on the couch, you know, open a laptop, go to Facebook, go to YouTube, go to whatever, you know, and just be commenting, 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 you know, uh, scoffing like they know what they're talking about, you know, like they know it all. But then you click their profile, no works. They be commenting on the elders and apostles. Oh no, you're going off on this. This means that. The next time you click their page, no works. You know, that's a that's a slugger desiring, man. All right, he's lazy as a motherfucker. I mean, you, anyone can sit down on a couch all day, eat Pringles and sip hot cocoa and type precepts. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm not talking about the brothers that, you know, uh, so I'm going to have to uh, not rephrase, but uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Clarify, um, I'm talking about specific, uh, specific, uh, specifically scoffers, not brothers that comment precepts under the comment board. That's beautiful, man. Brothers that give double honors to the elders and apostles. Brothers that give praises to Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, Shalawams, you know, um, bl blessing each other names Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, posting a scripture that go with the lesson, because that that's further the edification for the elect on that video, you know. So that's different than scoffers as keyboard warriors. They just sit down and try to cut you with scriptures all day. You clearly profile, they got no works. But that's the thing I'm talking about too. But in general, there are brothers out there that want all these different things. You know what I'm saying? Spiritual powers, multiple wives. But that's the least of your worries you should be worrying about. You know, it's multiple, multiple wives. That's going to come naturally. You know what I'm saying? But brothers be on spiritual powers and power rulership, being joint heirs or Yahweh Shai, want to be part of 144,000, but they're not doing no works, man. Okay? They're lazy. They're sluggards. All right. So in this video, man, we must occupy till he comes so we can receive those promises. We have to do this work. We have to occupy. Get busy. All right. Work. Plow. All right. Let's read this again. Proverbs 13 and 4. The, slow, the soul of the sluggard desireth and have nothing but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat, man. All right. Now let's get the parable of Matthew. I believe it's the 25th chapter. Okay. And we're going to read verse 14. It says, For the kingdom of heaven is, is as a man traveling to a far country. Similar to what I read in Luke 19. All right. That far country is the spiritual realm where the heavenly father dwells. 
All right? And that man is Yahweh Shai. You know, he went back to the father. It says, who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. So when Yahweh Shai left, you know, he delivered, he gave all knowledge, power, wisdom, you know, to the, to the apostles and the disciples and the believers back then 2,000 years ago. And they came back and all things brought to their remembrance. So that's why some of the other apostles on down, we believe we are, you know, those believers coming back, those men of the Lord coming back. You know, of course, if we endure, like our Lord Yahweh Shah said, if you continue my word, my words, you are my disciples indeed. So if we endure, we are those prophets and them coming back. Now, we don't know who's who, but, you know, there being been you know, spe uh, speculations through the spirit. All right. But that's not even important to know at this time. What's important is doing his work. We find, we find all that out in the kingdom, 100 percent. But we do know certain men exactly who they were. Abba Bivens, you know, uh. For example, Abba Bivens being John the Baptist, Elijah, because he fulfilled the, both those prophecies, Malachi, it was another one too, I believe in Luke, you know, it further proves who he was, man, all right, but in any event, let's read on down, it says, and deliver unto them his goods, and as one he gave five talents, and to another two, and to another one, and each brother got a different set of talents, gifts, all right, it says, to every man according to their several ability, and straightway took his journey, that then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them other five talents. He flipped it, man. Okay, he flipped it. So the Lord, when you first come to this faith, you made us be good at uh, prophecies or history or just, you know, on um, faith. You made us have real like, crazy faith. And the next thing you know, you start studying more, going to different things, linguistics or whatever the case may be. And the Lord just you, you just flip your talent. The Lord put spirit upon you, you. It just doubles, and now you into all of that prophecy. You know what I'm saying now you into the history. Now you into the uh, linguistics. Okay, now your faith is even more than it was. You know all type of stuff, man. There's all type of gifts, man. All right, uh, bravery, boldness. You know, it says. And straight took his journey. It says, uh, verse sixteen. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them other five talents. And likewise, he that had received two, he also gained another two. But he that had received one went and digged it in, in the earth and hid his Lord's money. All right. You got some brothers that got that talent to teach. OK, that made it be a talent. They able to teach, but they hid it. They're not going out there doing it, man. You see, it says, uh, and after a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh. See, after a while, Yahweh Shah will return. All right? He's going to come back and reckon with them. And the Lord going to reckon with us, man. Okay? It says, and he, and so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, this what, is this what I wanted, I believe. It says, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. See that? So when Yahweh Shah comes back, you want to be able to tell the Lord, I did everything I could. You know? I did, I did I went my hardest. You know, uh, I finished, you know, I, I, I endured to the end. I, I did the lessons. I went out the week in, the week out. You know, I believe I, you know, and let's see what the Lord going to say. His Lord said unto him, well done, thou good and faithful servant. You gave me five times, Lord, and I came back with 10. And Yahweh Shah going to say to that man, well done, thou good and faithful servant. And you want to hear those words, my Lord, man, our king. It says, thou has been faithful over few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Into thou, into the joy of thy Lord. You're going to be joint heirs with him, man. It says, He also that have received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. And behold, it says, Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. I, I flipped it, right? You gave me, you know, the ability to teach and faith, you know, and now I'm into the prophecies and history as well. <laughs> this is example, right? It says, His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou, well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I'll make thee ruler over many things. Into down to thy Lord. Into, into, into the joy of thy Lord. It says, Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art a hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not strawed. And I was afraid, and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there, has, there thou hast that is thine. So he just gave him back what he gave him. Okay? Like the Lord give you a talent. You know what I'm saying? Then he come back, you just give him back the talent. Huh? You know, take that. I knew he was an austere man. I didn't, you know, really do nothing with it. I was afraid, you know. The Lord not dealing with a man like that. Let's read what he says. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant. Man, slothful. All right. He wasn't occupying. It says, 
Thou knewest that I reap what I sow not, and gathered where I have not strawed. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchanges, and then at my coming I shall receive mine own with usury. Take therefore the talent from him, and give it unto him that have ten talents. So whatever gift you got, you're going to lose it, and another brother going to get it. The Lord can give that, that spirit. You may have been to teaching, or for example, you may have a lot of faith. The Lord will take your faith away and give us another brother, man. Okay? It says, for unto every one that have shall be given, and he that have, and he shall have abundance. But for him that have not shall be taken away even that which he have. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. And that's the that's those that don't literally do anything for this truth, man. All right. It said, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. All right. So that's that's that, man. You see, so you cannot be lazy in this thing. All right. We want to receive those promises. And what some of them promises is everlasting life, immortality. All right. Be enjoying heirs where y'all was shy. Matthew 19, chapter verse 29. But the apostle Peter asked our Lord. He told the disciples, listen, man, if you follow me in the, in the regeneration, when I return, you're going to sit with me as well. Judging the 12 tribes of Israel is going to be ordering a ring. All right. So I ain't going to make this too long. I want to get straight to the point with this lesson. You know, we must occupy until our Lord Yahweh shall return so we can receive those promises, man. Don't be a slothful, lazy man. Get out there and occupy and plow. All right. Do this work. You know, scriptures going. This is my scriptures that pop into my mind. You could get, you know, those that's building the house and he don't finish. People going to mock him. You know, once you start doing this work, you got to keep going and keep growing in this thing. All into the light of end. So let's end up with um, one last precept. Um, we'll give the Apostle Paul said in the first Timothy four. And no second Timothy. Always get those mixed up. So lucky. Second Timothy four. In verse 7, it says, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is led for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but to all of them also that I love his appearing. Do thy diligence to come surely unto me. All right. Let me get some more right quick. Uh, let me see. It was something else I wanted. Proverbs 4 and 23, keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life, man. You see that? Give diligence. Do this work. It's another one I wanted. Um, where you at? All this is good, man. Right here. Hebrews 6 and in the, in the start of verse 10. For the heavenly father is not unrighteous to forget your work. In labor of love, he's not gonna forget the work you put in for him, okay? Which ye have shrewd toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And we desire that every one of you, watch this, <laughs> and we desire that every one of you do shew the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end, that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Call line like y'all, watch my shy. I didn't even have this lined up, man, and, and it's perfect. For this lesson Let's read it one more time He will say to verse 10 through 12 For the heavenly father Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Is not unrighteous To forget your work And labor of love He's not going to forget you bro Okay Keep pushing Keep occupying Until he returns It says Which ye have shewed Toward his name What's his name Yahweh And his son's name Yahweh Shai It says In that ye have ministered To the saints Minister means to serve The saints of the Israelites And do minister You're still ministering You're still serving and we desire that every one of you do shoot the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. So give diligence, may that call any election short. Pastor Peter said that. It says that you be not slothful, do not be lazy, man, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises, man. All right, so man, the thing I pray is edified through the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Yah Yah we must occupy to our Lord Yahweh Shai return so we can receive the promises. Do not be lazy, bro. Go out there and push. All right, do video lessons, read, study, pray, fast, continue believing. Right, and y'all bash him out shot, especially in these last days, especially in these times we're in right now. So, with that, I'm going to give call and lie him, la, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechak Wadash, double honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone, peace and salutation, city like scattered abroad, pushing his truth and his sincerity. With that, I'm going to say, Shalom, Wa Baba Ball, Shalom.